last last month I came to、um, celebrate your winning and promise that、uh, we will invest 100 billion dollars. And you told me, "Oh, Masa, go for 200."、Yeah. <laughs> Now I came back with 500. Announcing the formation of Stargate. So put that name down in your books, because I think you're going to hear a lot about it. Before we get too excited, let's dig a little deeper. Because while the announcement was hailed as revolutionary, not everyone is convinced. We would、uh, make this happen. We would immediately start deploying 100 billion dollars. With the goal of making 500 billion dollars within next four years, within your time. Enter Elon Musk, the ever vocal CEO of Tesla and SpaceX, and a former co-founder of OpenAI. Musk wasted no time calling out Project Stargate, taking to X to drop a bombshell. SoftBank has well under 10 billion dollars secured. I have that on good authority. This claim shook the foundation of the announcement. After all, SoftBank, led by Masayoshi Son, is supposed to be one of the project's three pillars. So, if Musk is right, what happens to this grand vision of AI dominance? Let's break this down. SoftBank is no stranger to high-stakes bets in the tech world. Its vision fund, launched in 2017, made headlines for its ambitious $100 billion goal, aiming to support the most innovative startups. Over the years, the company hinted at scaling this fund. To 500 billion dollars, but the road hasn't been smooth for SoftBank. The company's aggressive approach to funding high-risk, high-reward ventures has led to a mixed track record. One of its most infamous setbacks was the implosion of WeWork. SoftBank invested over 18 billion dollars into the office-sharing giant, only to see its valuation plummet from 47 billion dollars to less than 8 billion dollars following its failed IPO and public scrutiny. Over its financials and governance issues, the fallout forced SoftBank to inject billions more to stabilize the company, leading to significant losses. In addition to WeWork, SoftBank's vision fund has taken hits from other startups that overpromised and underdelivered. Investments in companies like Katera, a construction startup that filed for bankruptcy, and Oyo Rooms, which struggled to scale profitably. Further dented SoftBank's reputation and financial position. By 2024, reports indicated that SoftBank's Vision Fund had experienced multiple years of negative returns, largely due to its exposure to volatile markets and speculative bets. So, surprisingly enough, Musk's claim that they've secured less than $10 billion isn't without merit. If true, this puts the entire project in a precarious position. How can Project Stargate promise $500 billion if one of its main backers is struggling to stay afloat? But wait, SoftBank isn't alone in this. Oracle, the third partner in Project Stargate, brings a heavyweight advantage: cloud expertise. Over the past few years, Oracle has emerged as a serious contender in the cloud computing industry, competing with the likes of Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, and Google Cloud. While traditionally viewed as a legacy database giant, Oracle has made an aggressive pivot toward AI and cloud infrastructure to stay relevant in the modern tech landscape. The company has invested billions into building state-of-the-art data centers across the globe. Its Oracle Cloud Infrastructure (OCI) is tailored to handle demanding workloads, including those needed for AI model training and deployment. Oracle's cloud platform is specifically designed for scalability, high-speed processing, and reliability, making it a natural fit for AI applications. But Oracle's ambitions go beyond just infrastructure. The company has been integrating AI-powered analytics into its enterprise applications, such as enterprise resource planning (ERP) and customer relationship management (CRM) tools. Provide businesses with actionable insights. It's also been at the forefront of AI-driven automation, helping companies streamline operations and reduce costs. Joining Project Stargate positions Oracle to be more than just a cloud provider. It positions them as a critical enabler of AI advancement. Yet, for all its strengths, Oracle also faces its own challenges. While it has made significant progress in the cloud space. It still trails behind AWS, Azure, and Google in terms of market share. Critics have questioned 
whether Oracle can truly scale to the level needed for a $500 billion initiative like Project Stargate. In a recent interview with CNBC, Microsoft CEO Satya Nadella also addressed his company's stance on the $500 billion. When questioned about Microsoft's involvement, Nadella stated, All I know is I'm good for my $80 billion. I'm going to spend $80 billion building out Azure, referring to Microsoft's significant investment in its own cloud computing platform. I'm good for my $80 billion. I am right. going to spend $80 billion building out Azure. Customers can count on Microsoft with OpenAI models being there everywhere in the world, uh, serving OpenAI models and other models. That's, I think, what I know. To put it simply, Microsoft has made its decision to focus on enhancing its Azure infrastructure rather than participating directly in the Stargate project. Nadella's remarks highlight a strategic choice to invest heavily in Microsoft's proprietary cloud services, potentially indicating a divergence from OpenAI's current collaborative efforts with other tech giants. But Oracle's involvement is critical. Its vast network of data centers and cutting-edge cloud platforms are designed to handle the kind of massive computational needs required by OpenAI's models. However, Oracle's role is largely focused on technology, not direct financial investment. That means a huge chunk of the financial burden still falls on SoftBank and, of course, OpenAI. But let's shift our focus to OpenAI itself. As the driving force behind this initiative, OpenAI has been at the forefront of AI innovation, with tools like ChatGPT revolutionizing industries worldwide. ChatGPT and its successors have gone from being cutting-edge novelties to essential tools in fields like customer service, education, healthcare, and creative industries. Whether it's automating mundane tasks, personalizing learning experiences, or assisting in medical diagnoses, OpenAI's creations are leaving an indelible mark on the global stage. Beyond ChatGPT, OpenAI's innovations extend to a host of advanced AI systems. DAL E, for instance, has brought generative art and design capabilities to mainstream users, democratizing creativity in unprecedented ways. Codex, another of OpenAI's marvels, is revolutionizing software development by enabling AI-driven coding assistants like GitHub Copilot, which help developers write and debug code faster. These tools not only make workflows more efficient, but also lower the barrier to entry for individuals learning to code or exploring technical fields. However, even as OpenAI makes strides, CEO Sam Altman has raised an important red flag. In a recent interview, Altman clarified something that's been on everyone's mind, a GI. That's Artificial General Intelligence, or AI, capable of performing any intellectual task a human can do. Altman addressed growing fears that OpenAI might already be close to achieving AGI, saying, We are not going to deploy AGI next month, nor have we built it. We're making progress, but the journey is long and caution is key. These remarks stand in stark contrast to the ambitions of Project Stargate. While the initiative aims to accelerate the development of AI, Altman's words suggest a more measured approach. Could there be internal tension between OpenAI's desire to push boundaries and Altman's personal caution about how far and how fast they should go? And then, of course, there's the Elon factor. Musk didn't just call out SoftBank. He went head-to-head -head with Sam Altman on social media, questioning the integrity of the project itself. Musk's skepticism isn't new. For years, he's voiced concerns about the ethical risks of AI, including the potential misuse of advanced models. With Project Stargate, he's doubled down, calling it a cash grab and arguing that it lacks the financial and ethical foundation needed to justify its scale. In one particularly heated exchange, Musk accused Altman of overhyping OpenAI's capabilities to secure more funding, while Altman countered that Musk's critiques are often more about personal grudges than genuine concern. The truth? Probably somewhere in the middle. But there's yet another development that might add even more fuel to this fire. Just one day before Project Stargate was announced, 
President Trump revoked a key executive order signed by his predecessor in 2023. This order had laid the groundwork for ethical AI development, offering federal land leases for data centers powered by renewable energy. Its goal, you ask? To ensure AI advancement didn't come at the expense of the environment or ethical considerations. But with the order now gone, the floodgates are open. AI companies no longer have to adhere to strict federal guidelines, making it easier, but potentially riskier, to accelerate projects like Stargate. The timing is curious, to say the least. The executive order is revoked, and the next day, Project Stargate is unveiled. Coincidence? It could be, but it's hard to ignore the optics. So where does this leave us? On one hand, Project Stargate represents a bold vision for the future of AI. A $500 billion investment in infrastructure could catapult the United States to the forefront of the AI race, outpacing rivals like China and the European Union. But on the other hand, the cracks in the foundation are hard to ignore. Musk's skepticism about SoftBank's financial standing, Altman's caution about AGI, and the rollback of federal oversight all raise questions about whether this project is built on ambition or hubris. But as we push forward, it's more important than ever to ask tough questions. Are we building the future responsibly, or are we moving too fast, leaving ethics and accountability in the dust? Project Stargate could be a defining moment in AI history, or it could be a cautionary tale. Only time will tell. With the race for progress, there's always new developments, so remember to subscribe to stay up to date. Peace.